Hello everybody, I'm Jason Burnt with Macomb Township Government Access and this is your Macomb Township News. Macomb Township Board of Review hearings are scheduled for March 8th and 9th. The Department of Health has advised the assessing department on how they should proceed moving forward. This year, the Michigan Department of Health has issued uh, special guidelines for the March Board Review meetings. For this year only, the March Board Review must be held either virtually or telephonically. Our March Board Review dates are Monday, March 8th from 1 p.m. until 9 p.m. and Tuesday, March 9th from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Property owners wishing to appeal to the Board Review will need to call the assessing department to make an appointment. When the appointment is made, instructions will be given on how to proceed. Appointments are made on a first come, first serve basis, and the owners are encouraged to make their appointments as soon as possible. Property owners should provide evidence for their appeals to the Board of Review. This information will need to be submitted prior to their appointment date. It can be turned into the assessing department or placed in an envelope and delivered to the drop box labeled Assessing Department March Board Review. And please call to verify that we have received the information. Non-residents may protest the Board of Review by letter. Letter appeals must be accompanied by the Board of Review petition. The appeals must be received prior to the adjournment of the March 9th, 5 p.m. deadline. If a property owner is having a representative address the Board of Review on their behalf, they will need a letter of authorization appointing them as their agent. For complete policy and guidelines, see our website or call the assessing department. The Macomb Township Board of Trustees and the Planning Commission have changed the start times for regularly scheduled meetings until further notice. Meetings will now begin at 6.30 p.m., but are still remote so public can watch or participate via Zoom. We advise our residents to be aware of this change moving forward. Once again, more information about the Board of Trustees, Planning Commission, and all meetings can be found on the Township website. Parks and Recreation has set the date for extravaganza this year and want to notify the residents of how you can be part of the fun. We are busy planning um, our event to be out at Macomb Corners this year. Uh, we know with the current restrictions that we won't be able to have it indoors like we no normally do. So um, we are actually planning one of two different plans and we're going to announce a couple days before the event if it's going to be a walking event. Obviously if the weather and uh, C-19 restrictions allow, we, we would hope for a walking event very similar to what we did at Halloween. Um, if it's colder and um, inclement weather, which it could be in March, um, we are prepared to have a drive through event like we did um, for the holiday lighting. Um, because this is a ticketed event, we can space out the registration. We shouldn't have the long lines um, um, that we did at uh, the holiday lighting. So um, we're asking people to register for one of six different time slots, and we're keeping an eye on all of that. And again, um, we can tell everyone we will have um, 20 to 25 sponsors out there. The kids will be collecting goodies. We're going to give everybody a bag when they get there. We're going to have um, surprise guest characters there, including um, the Easter Bunny, and we're going to have live animals. Um, there will be a scavenger egg hunt throughout the event where um, the families and kids count the number of eggs, and they'll turn in their little uh, raffle form and be entered into raffles to win one of many family four packs here at the rec center. And um, the kids will all be receiving a little gift from the bunny, uh, a craft, and different things. So we um, think it's going to be a nice event. We're working with you know what we can do and we're trying to make the best of it. So for people interested in joining us uh, they can register online and or at our front desk and um, we're looking forward to a fun event and and really a fun summer ahead. You can contact Parks and Recreation online or directly by phone at 586-992-2900. With all of the snow lately, it's important to remember to try to maintain the sidewalks and street corners in front of and adjacent to your property. Macomb Township um, wants to keep the residents safe during snowfalls and snow emergencies. So uh, we'd like to remind the uh, property owners that they have to keep the snow cleared off all sidewalks um, within 24 hours of a snow event. 
Um, if not, uh, the township uh, may have to, in case of a snow hazard, uh, come and have it shoveled themselves and uh, charge the uh, property owners uh, for having that done. So we encourage you to get it done within the first 24 hours. Um, with um, the streets uh, that need to be plowed by the snow plows, if you could keep all the vehicles um, on the driveways and off the, the, the streets so that it's uh, safe for everyone. And if you're a senior citizen, uh, you may be able to contact Macomb County and they have services available to help you with the snow removal. Um, so in closing, if you could just try and keep your um, sidewalk and property clear and the uh, cars off the streets. And finally, we want to once again remind residents that the Household Hazardous Waste Drop-Off Day will be taking place in April. The date is set for Saturday, April 24th from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. in the Town Hall parking lot. Macomb Township residents only can drop off acceptable hazardous materials you can't throw away in your everyday trash. A list of those acceptable materials can be found on the website. So mark your calendars for Saturday, April 24th. And remember, the most up-to-date information for everything that pertains to Macomb Township can be found on our website, macomb-mi.gov. This has been your Macomb Township News.